guys, it's James and I. We're here at Emerald City Guitars. I'm doing a pick of the day today for you guys. Uh, and today I picked something off of the wall in our acoustic room. Uh, we have a lot of really great acoustics and we've been kind of focusing more on Martins because we have a lot of great Martins, but I thought I'd switch it up a little bit and choose a awesome Gibson. This is a 1967 Gibson Southern Jumbo. Now the Southern Jumbo first hit the market in 1942, I believe, and has gone through some changes. Uh, up until 1962, the body was a round-shouldered dreadnought, and in 1962 they went from that to the what's known as square-shouldered dreadnought. This is a fine example of a Southern Jumbo, uh, a jumbo from the South, as they say, uh, nowhere. But uh, this guitar came with a spruce top, a mahogany back, as well as mahogany sides, and it's all bound. Now the binding has aged okay. There are some cracks that have been adjusted, and it's pretty common with a guitar this old to see some cracks in the binding. Um, on the top, you're gonna notice some scratches, definitely some checking. Um, there are no cracks on the top. There are no cracks on the actual body itself, but as I said, there are some on the binding. Um, you got the pointed pick guard. Uh, the rosewood bridge has been off, but has been re-glued and it is structurally sound. There's no space between the bridge and the body or the top of the guitar. Now this era, this guitar came with the, uh, an adjustable saddle. So that's great. Some people love them, some people hate them. It just makes it nice and easy to raise or lower that saddle. The neck is a mahogany neck. You have a rosewood fingerboard with the original split parallelogram inlays. So this era of the Southern Jumbo, you're gonna find a deep set neck and a 24 and three quarters scale length. At the nut, we're looking at one and five eighths of an inch. And this beauty here weighs four pounds and six ounces, so nice and light. I just love these guitars. Uh, they're not very boomy. They are a little bit more focused on the mid-range, mids and highs, I would say, but they're really great for percussive type playing, um, very woody, and honestly, they're some of my favorite guitars being played, especially in a full band setting because of that percussive sound. Something else to note about this beauty here is that it comes with the original hard shell case. That's in really good condition. All the latches work and everything, so usually pretty rare to see for a guitar this old, uh, or a case this old. But uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm actually gonna show you what this thing sounds like, so check it out. All right guys, there you have it. Today I picked a 1967 Gibson Southern Jumbo. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you next time.